Hello and welcome back to Not A Watch Snob. I am your host, Bill. And today, we are going over the most underrated watches I have ever dealt with. Stick around. The first watch on our list is the Alpina Alpiner 4 GMT Business Timer. Now, the reason why this watch makes its list is because this is one of those watches that is great value for money. I mean, the functions alone on this watch are enough to make this watch skyrocket to well above a thousand, but used, you can get them for around 700, that's where I got mine at, and it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. The reason why I love this watch is because it goes above and beyond just being a GMT. It has the 24-hour business timer um, markers around the bezel, which indicates when the country you are timing is in business or they are sleeping, which is just really cool whenever I'm doing a watch talk across the pond with Dean. Hi there, I am Bill. I'm an American <laughs> and I'm not a watch snob. Very cool to track when I can email him or when I can text him so I'm not bothering him at 3 a.m. I also really like the fact that it has a compass bezel. I can always get my bearings of where I am just using my compass as a sundial. Very cool. Thank you for thinking of that. Alpina, get your knives out. The next watch on our list is a killer. Coming in at number two, we have the Zodiac Grand Rally. The reason why this watch is on my list is because well, watch this. Another reason why this watch makes the list is because it has one of the longest lasting looms I've ever seen on a watch. Hats off to Zodiac for making a great product. Oh, and did I forget to mention the price? I got this for 200 and some change, like $220 I think. Um, my only problem with it is I wish it was automatic, um, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, and honestly, it's just the attention to details, as well as that cool, toolless adjustable strap is just you can't go wrong with the Zodiac Grand Rally. Definitely check them out. The next watch on our list was gonna be the Citizens Navi Hawk. Now, I think that this watch is a really cool watch with a shit ton of functions such as alarm, GMT, 24 hour timer, 99 minute countdown timer, three alarms, a power reserve, a timer, calendar, 43 cities automatic time adjuster, digital heads up display with a backlight. Cool. Holy cow, the functions are endless. However, I decided it's kind of busy for most people. So um, I'm just gonna encapsulate the entire Citizens EcoDrive brand as a underrated watch. Now I think that um, if you're looking for a watch that's gonna be a first time watch, um, the Citizens EcoDrive is just an incredible watch to purchase. You never need to worry about charging it or changing the battery. One charge and that thing lasts for months and months on end. And to this day, that was one of my first watches. Never need to service it, never need to change the battery. One charge and you're good. I love the EcoDrive line. If you're looking for a low maintenance, beautiful watch, go ahead and check out the Citizens EcoDrive line. They have watches for everyone's style. Whether you're into dress watches, dive watches, or badass Navi Hawks. Definitely check out the EcoDrive line. 
It's very underrated. People always discredit citizens, but sure, I'll take an automatic watch any day of the week, but something about that beautiful, beautiful solar-powered watch is enough to just, you know, get my heart going. Check them out. The last watch on our list is, well, just grab your pitchforks. It's the Invicta S1 Rally. Now you're probably thinking, God, why would you include an Invicta on this list? I'm including it because for under $100, this chronograph is bad. Look at the beauty of this watch. I mean, it is big, bold, in your face, but stylish at the same time. I mean, this watch is one of those watches I could see you driving a muscle car, sporting that bad hunk of brick on your wrist. I think it is so cool. That quilted leather strap, its design features are limitless, as well as that beautiful backsplash of carbon fiber. It really pops against that sort of white sunburst dial. It is a gorgeous watch. Oh, and by the way, Swiss made. I mean, for under $100, Swiss made for a badass watch with, I mean, uh, a brand that I know not many watch snobs respect, but you're gonna get a lot of compliments from that watch. Even Federico Talks Watches says that if you wanna get a watch that will attract women, Invicta is the way to go. Now, I'm not into that category. I'm already taken, ladies. If you enjoyed this list, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, I really appreciate it, and tell me what your favorite, most underrated brands you've ever dealt with are in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you are bored, go ahead and check out 2mixclothing.com, where you can get some really cool shirts. 2mix.com, check them out. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go to at notawatchsnob1. I'd like to appreciate all the people who have donated to my channel already. Thank you guys. I couldn't keep creating this content without you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Island time, baby. Thank you very much.